Welcome back, everybody. Getting ready for the big game on Sunday. Packers in the playoffs versus the Dallas Cowboys. And if you're looking for a place to watch it, uh, the United Casino has lots of places. Uh, in the last few months, you guys, just as Chef Ken Hall, who and also brought along uh, one of his chefs, Chef Doug. Ken is the executive chef in charge of all of the United Casino restaurants. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Well, Happy New Year to you, and thank you for having us in. You betcha. Thanks, guys, for yeah, coming. So, Ken, I don't know if a lot of people know, but in the last year or so, um, the United Casino has really expanded its whole restaurant scene. How many restaurants do you guys have now? We have five new restaurants, and Countryville Bar and Grill is at the Mason Street Casino. Mm -hmm. And that's where Doug is the chef over there. And um, so we wanted to do our, our version of game day. You did wings, so we'll, we'll save the wings for another time. But we have a shepherd's pie Ooh. that is that perfect cold weather yeah. food. Right. You can make it ahead of time, throw it in the oven, bring it out at halftime, sit down, have a nice meal, soak up a little of the festivities that we sure. had earlier and sure. get ready for that second half. I love it. So I'm going to have Doug go ahead and show you how we throw it together. Now this is a little different than the traditional shepherd's pie. It's kind of a, a, a new twist on it. So Doug, what are we starting with here? Uh, we're going to start with some uh, some cut up veggies. Okay. I got celery, carrot, onion, okay. uh, corn, and peas. Okay. We're going to throw those in. So we're going to let those saute you for a little bit. We'll toss those around. I haven't uh, had shepherd's pie in a while, so this is getting me kind of excited. And this weather mm -hmm. just, like, bring on the comfort food. Yeah, yeah, the nice thing with shepherd's pie, traditionally, of course, is going to be more of a lamb, ground lamb or a lamb stew. Uh, we do it with some beef. We have some beef from the Oneida. They have a farm just west of Green Bay. Mm -hmm. So we have the advantage of uh, the ability to use some of that. I did pre-cook everything. What you're going to want to do is you're going to get your veggie going, get that sautéed. Okay. Going to get the veggies going, get them soft. Okay. And we're going to throw in our, our ground beef at that point. Okay. And this is already cooked. This is already crumbled. cooked. Yep. Already cooked and crumbled up a little bit. And just toss that around. And we also have some sirloin roast. So that, that's going to be something a little different than two yeah. different types of meat. Yep. We like to. It gives you a little bit more of a, I guess, more of a bite when you, yeah. when you get to it. It's more yeah. of a real meat and potatoes. Love that's that. That's kind of what the theme of our restaurant is. It's kind of old school. Kind of with a new twist kind of thing, I guess, in some ways, is the way that we like to think about it. So you guys have some fun activities planned, stuff planned for the big game? Oh, yeah. Well, and, and at Countryville, they have, they have karaoke that um, they run. They also have line dancing that actually is starting today. Yeah. And we got to do that sometime. Yeah, we have actually lessons in the morning, and then you can come back in, at night. We have entertainment Are at you night. serious? Mm -hmm. How fun. Yeah, How like, fun. Yeah. But for the game, you'll have the game on. Uh, oh, absolutely. And some of the absolutely. TVs there, um, right. and yep. running some game-based specials and things like that. Yep. Um, what are some of the other things besides shepherd's pie? Now, in goes our gravy. Yep. If you don't have gravy on hand, real simple. If you just got some beef stock, okay. just toss your veggies uh, in your beef with a little bit of flour. Then go ahead and add your stock and just let it cook. Let, the that, let that flour, let yeah. that right, let that flour cook down. Uh, we take the bones that we get from our beef and we actually make our own gravies and sauces. I can so tell we that looked the, really yummy. Yeah, it's yeah. homemade. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. We make well, most most things we try and do from scratch. So and that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, so does. let that yeah, cook down a little bit, yep. um, and then uh, you're going to put that into like a casserole dish. Actually, yeah. If you're if you're doing it at home, you're serving it for, for a group of for a group of guests. Absolutely, you're going to put uh, probably a glass baking dish, 11 by 17. You're going to have a little bit more than what I have here. Uh, I'm going to show you what we do for an individual portion. Sure. This is what this is. Wow, so, that's a yeah. big individual portion. It's a big portion. Wow. Um, and then, of course, the mashed, it's all about the mashed potatoes, all right? All about the mashed potatoes. They we, go on top. Yeah, we make a garlic mash uh, that goes right on top. Uh, we'll get it in the oven, get a little brown on it, get a little cheese on the top. Ooh. He's got to have cheese. Ooh, so we've got some in the oven right now. So, you Ken, bet. while I'm getting this out of the oven, um, what are some of the other, uh, you know, traditional game day things that you serve there? Do you do a great burger? They, they do six or seven different great ooh, burgers. Ooh. They also do a twist on wings, and they do a turkey wing. Really? A so those are a lot turkey. bigger, I'm sure. A lot bigger. You only get three, three because more. that's about all you can eat at one time. Yum. And they have a fresh menu that they do monthly, and they change it up, and they do biscuits and gravy, and they have chicken and waffles, oh, and we have fun. the shepherd's pie, and... It's all about good old fashioned country. I love that. Country that cooking. sounds delicious. So individually, you'll put the potatoes on the top Correct. and the cheese, yep. uh, but or you could also do it in a big casserole dish. Um, right. Cheese it up toward the end and yep. maybe hit it back under there. So back, it back in the broiler, yep, and uh, it comes parsley. out a little bit. Of, pull a little bit of parsley on top, and the same thing here oh with our big gosh. portion. People can just grab on oh. what they want. It's a real stick to your ribs kind of uh, cold weather. Yeah. Philly up kind of thing. It's so. absolutely perfect. Serve it with a, with a, a little, corn, little corn, corn muffin mm -hmm. made from scratch. So again, where are you guys located? Uh, for people who aren't familiar with all these new restaurants, a whole new restaurant scene, 
uh, that the Oneida Casino, they've really put a lot of time, energy, and hired some of the best chefs in the area. So, uh, Well, yeah. in the main casino, we have four restaurants. We have a food court that has three different restaurants, and then we have Vince Lombardi's Legendary Sports Bar and Grill, which is on the east side of the casino. And then we have Country Bo Bo Countryville Bar and Grill, which is at the Mason Street Casino, Just which is... Just out west Mason, okay. Exactly. It's right there by Sam's Club. Okay. I know exactly where that is. All right. Well, Can't miss it. Fun place to watch the game. What are you guys Good. making next time? We're doing a Bloody Mary bar. Ooh, what a fun thing to do at home. And if you're looking for the shepherd's pie recipe, uh, the twist on it, we will put it on our website. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up, uh, some last-minute decorating ideas for your game day party. Real easy stuff that will make your buffet uh, pop. And we're going to show you how to make a chorizo sausage potato skins that they serve at the American Club in Kohler. So stay with us. We'll be back.